welcome back to Season 2, Episode 1 of the Warrior Way News. I'm Quinn Schieffer. And I'm Avery Proctor. And today we'll be starting off our broadcast with Ella and the wrestling meet in Plainview. Four members of the Crofton Bloomfield wrestling team medaled while competing in the Plainview meet on Saturday, January 26th. CHS freshman William Poppy placed sixth while wrestling in the 126 weight class. Poppy commented, we need to get our momentum rolling so that when district comes around, we are wrestling the best that we have all year. Tyson Souser, a sophomore, placed fourth in the 132 weight class. Hudson Barger, a freshman, placed second in the 106 weight division. Both Souser and Barger are wrestlers from Bloomfield. CHS freshman Jared Jansen placed fifth in the 220 weight division. Poppy, Souser, Barger, and Jansen, along with Calvin Dather, have earned a medal in most of the meets this season. Jansen commented, the team has been performing well and we are well conditioned. Hopefully we can out-hustle the other teams. I think we have a good chance at earning spots at districts. With four to five wrestlers consistently placing in meets, the Crofton Bloomfield wrestling team hopes to perform well and follow up their efforts in the postseason. And now we have Tyler in the girls basketball game against Pierce. The Crofton Lady Warriors basketball team won 58 to 46 over the Pierce Lady Blue Jays. The Crofton girls were off to a fast start against Pierce on Thursday, January 24th at home. Pierce fought back to tie the score at the end of the first quarter, 12 to 12. Junior Alexis Arm had a momentous three-pointer in the beginning of the second quarter to spark a Lady Warriors run to pull away from Pierce. Crofton girls led the second quarter to pull ahead at the half, 23 to 18. Crofton outscored Pierce in the third quarter, 15 to 10, making the score 37 to 28. In the fourth period, a lack of defense resulted in a high-scoring quarter. Between the two teams, a total of 39 points were scored in the eight minutes. Sophomore Lacey Sprockle put up a sum of 13 rebounds and 22 points for the Warriors. For Pierce, senior Maggie Bramer scored 13 points, and junior Zoe Brendan had 12 points. The Crofton Lady Warriors are currently 13-3 this season. The Pierce Lady Blue Jays are currently 8-8 eight eight with even wins and losses. The Lady Warriors will be involved in conference play the week of January 28th. Next up, we have Sarah with Mrs. Philhouse's art program. Crofton High School teacher Mary Philhouse has been teaching art for 35 years. The artwork created under her instruction has given Crofton a reputation for its art program. Philhouse's favorite part about being a teacher is witnessing the excitement from the students after creating their own piece of art. Art teaches students perseverance, dedication, and builds self-confidence, Philhouse commented. Some of the senior art students have impressed colleges with their artwork. Senior Taylor Tyndall says, colleges see what you have created and they appreciate it and it makes you stand out. Philhouse enjoys sharing the artwork and talent with the community. She displays it at Crofton's Fine Arts Night each year and also takes it to the conference show in Norfolk. Something unique about Crofton's art program is older students in 11th and 12th grade get to go on independent study. They get to work with different art mediums and explore what they enjoy, Philhouse commented. A big thanks to the parents for allowing their children to take this class. I thank God every day that I am a teacher, Philhouse stated. And now for this week's announcements with Avery and Kaylee. Saturday, February 2nd, boys and girls basketball will have the opportunity to play in the conference tournament. Times are still to be decided. Also, the speech team will head to Wayne for the Wayne speech invite. Finally, the boys wrestling will compete in a duel at the University of Nebraska Kearney. On Monday, February 4th, there's an FCCLA chapter meeting starting at 4. The boys and girls freshman basketball team will play in Creighton starting with the girls at 6.30 and the boys at 7.30. On Tuesday, Junior High will play basketball against Harrington Cedar Catholic, starting with the girls at 2.30, followed by the boys. The boys' varsity basketball will play McCook Central later that evening at 7.30, following the JV game at 6.15. On Wednesday, Junior High basketball will play in Bloomfield, starting with the girls at 2.30, and the boys will follow. On Thursday, girls conclude their home season against Norfolk Catholic at 6.15, starting with JV, followed by the varsity. 